What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield. You guys already know the deal. Hopping onto that rank double ladder for Series 10. And ladies and gentlemen, we are showcasing Solgaleo today on the rank ladder. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. You guys are blowing me away with all the support that has been going out across the channel. But before we uh, show off this team and go over it, I want to give a huge shout out to my boy Diesel for dropping this team in my Instagram DMs. Diesel, you're the man. Thank you so much for leaving this team. If you guys want to leave me teams, you guys already know the deal for that as well. Go down to the link in the description below. Jeans underscore YouTube over on my Instagram page. DM me over there and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But starting off with this team, so Galio over here. And this is a Pokemon I've been really excited to use in Series 10, considering in Series 8 when he was allowed to be played, he was really, really strong. But it was different back then, considering there was Dynamax, and most people would play him with the weakness policy. And weakness policy, you're not really seeing as much considering Dynamax is out of the picture. So, so Galio right here, full metal body ability, Lumberry as his item, Psychic Fang, and Sun Seal Strike for his stab moves. And then we got Flare Blitz and Close Combat as his coverage moves. Right next to him is Tornadus. Tornadus has been rocking Life Orb all throughout Series 10, and I've been loving this uh, setup with him. He's got Prankster, Life Orb as his item, Hurricane for Stab, Heat Wave for Coverage, Tailwind to set up the speed, and Taunt for opposing support Pokemon. Middle left, we got Tapu Fini. Loving this little biscuit over here. He's just a lot of fun to use, especially this setup right here. It's going to be a lot of fun to use and see how we can do with it. He has Misty Surge and the Choice Specs as his item. Muddy Water, Moon Blast, and Ice Beam for two stab moves and one coverage. And Trick, in case we just want to hand off this Choice Spec onto our opposing Pokemon. Can't have a Series 10 team without your boy Incineroar. He's right next to Top of Finny here with Intimidate and Citrus Berry as his item. And I don't even have to say anything about this Pokemon. It is the same thing every time, but hey, it's working. It rocks out strong, so why change it? Flare Blitz, Snarl, Parting Shot, Fake Out. Bottom left, we got My Shell over here, and this Pokemon is awesome. I feel like it's a great lead on a lot of teams, and I feel like it's a very underrated Pokemon as well. We have Inner Focus on that thing, Focus Sash so we don't get one tap. We have Wide Guard for Pokemon like uh, Groudon or Kyogre if they want to go into Water Spout or Precipice Blades. We can end up going with the Wide Guard, making a hard read, and potentially getting off a big play for our team. Close Combat for Stab, Fake Out for Flinch, and Coaching for Coaching Ally Pokemon. Final Pokemon on this team is going to be Rillaboom. This Pokemon has been just as good as Incineroar in this series. Been on a lot of teams. He just rocks out so well, so why not use him again? Grassy Surge is his ability. Assault Vest as his item. Knock off to take off items. Grassy Glide for first turn priority and stab. High Horsepower for a coverage move. And Wood Hammer for big stab damage. Guys, if you want to try out the team for yourself, you guys already know the deal. Rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that Series 10 ladder. Try to get some wins with this Solgaleo team. So we are currently sitting at 3,595 on the Master Ball tier. We are sitting at 8-3 and three as well. I was just at 2,500, but since I didn't play last night, it just dropped me back a 1,000 places, which is crazy. But hopefully we can get some wins here, bring that rank up, and get rocking out from there. We're going up against a Yvelta team right here, and that's a Pokemon I do have to show off. I showed off Exerneus. Yvelta is probably next on the board, but I saw this Solgaleo team, and I was like, yo, let's try this one out. Let's get rocking with it. But he does have a... Uh, he does have uh, Regilecki, who I really do think he is potentially going to lead, so I kind of want a fake out user on the squad right off the rip. I'm thinking maybe Incineroar could be really good, considering we have Intimidate. Hmm. Who does Jeans want to go into? Who does Jeans want to go into? I kind of want to get the Tailwind set up. I'm going to go uh, Tornadus, and I need a fake out user. Maybe My Shell would be great. My Shell could be solid. But I think Incineroar could be a little bit better here. Hmm. So I could get off a uh, turn one Intimidate, and then we could just go from there. But he does have a Nihilego, who's a huge problem. I wish this Rillaboom was Rock and Fake Out. That could be so big for us. Hmm. What does Jeans do? I think my shot's going to be a little bit better here. We are rocking the Focus Ash. We're going to bring Solgaleo in the back end. And then final Pokemon. Is it going to be Finny or is it going to be Rillaboom? I feel like Rillaboom just comes in a little bit bigger here. Rillaboom's just great all around. So we're going to throw in Rillaboom, get him rocking in that final spot, and look for a win in battle number one. But like I was saying, so Galio usually rocks out with the weakness policy as his item, but I have not seen like one Pokemon using weakness policy ever since Series 10 came about because Dynamax is gone. So less HP. So usually when you get hit by that shot, you usually need Dynamax to survive. But usually Dynamax gives you that big HP boost. You can survive, get that weakness policy rolling. But now since you don't get that extra HP boost, nobody's using weakness policy. So that's been out of the game. He ends up going Rillaboom and Nihilego, so I'm pretty fine with this turn. I wish I was rocking Quick Guard on this thing. We do have Wide Guard on it instead, but Quick Guard does work. He does have Meteor Beam, which could be tough, so I'm going to actually fake out the Nihilego. Try to get rolling with that so he doesn't drop a Meteor Beam and get after it that way. I might drop a Heat Wave. Heat Wave could be really good, or I can just take Speed. Go for a Hurricane, yo. If Hurricane hits, 
That'd be nutty. That'd be nutty. That'd be big damage. I could take out uh, him no problem. Um, I could go Tailwind, but I really, like I said, I really want to get the Nether Lego. No, we're just gonna go for the Hurricane. We're gonna try to land off on this Hurricane, and I'm just gonna fake out onto the uh, the Nether Lego just to try to get a flinch off on this thing. But we're looking for that 70% chance of landing. Let's get it. We're testing our luck here. Get after it. Fake outs can come across here. On to you. Okay, so we got uh we got a trade of turns here, and of course he gets a crit. Of course he gets a crit. So we go crit for crit here. We're gonna get some HP back, and I might end up. Th I don't have protect. I do not have protect. So I think Tailwind's gonna have to come out here. I think we have to take speed. I think he's just gonna drop a rock on me. He's just gonna get after me that way. So I might drop a close combat onto uh, Nihil Lego and try to roll from there. Right? Okay, that's gonna be my play. That is gonna be my play. I am rocking Flare Blitz on my uh, Solgaleo, so I do like that. I do dig it. Let's see how this one plays out. Let's see how this one plays out. Tailwind comes out and about. And again, Meteor Beam is definitely coming into my uh, my Pokemon right now. Grass Glide flies through onto my Shell, right? My Shell is able to eat. And Close Combat is gonna fly through. And how much damage are we gonna do? Oh my god, almost pick up the KO, yo. Almost pick up that big KO. That could have been huge for us. That could have been huge for us. And now the Meteor Beam is flying through. It's all that coming from a mile away. Our boy's gonna drop here. So, mm, what do I do? Unless he misses. I missed the Meteor Beam once. I missed it once before. But I usually don't miss. Meteor Beam comes through and it connects, yeah. Okay. I believe it's because he had an act or I had an accuracy drop. The Nihil Lego is bumping out here. He's got that plus one. He's got to go. So we have to throw out somebody who can be able to take him out. No problem. He's on like one HP though. So with all that going on, what can I do here? What can your boy do here? Because we know Real Boom is just going to Grass Guide over into my, uh, over into my, what's it called? My My Shell. So maybe we can go here. Yeah, we're going to have to go here and we're going to have to Grass Guide over on the hit Lego. That's going to be our play. And then eventually we'll get after that little boom and bring out our Soul Galio and try to win this battle here. So definitely want to glide here just to make sure we get that first turn priority. And then I can bump, 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 maybe coach. If I can get off coach, that could be nice, but I just don't see us getting off coach. But let's roll with it. Let's roll with it. Let's try it out. Let's see how this one plays out. Nihil is going to end up protecting. Smart little play right there. And he's going to take me out with the grace guide, right? Right? If not, yo, we get off the coach. Be big for us. And there goes this grass guy. There goes my my shell. My shell's out of here. And we're gonna have to bring out Solgaleo and to win this battle. Which I'm kinda fine with how this is playing out right now. Because again, Nihil Lego is gonna go down super easily to a grassy guide. So we can take him out here, no problem. Unless he goes for a hard swap. But I really don't see him doing that. I really don't see him doing that. He might protect the little boom. But I don't think he knows we're rocking some big old stab moves here. Let's go with the glide. And I could go with the Sun Seal Strike. I could go with the Psychic Fangs, but I want to get after Shulbun. Both great moves here. Both great moves here. Hmm. We're going to go in with that Flare Blitz. We'll take the recoil damage, and we'll see how much damage we can actually do to this Shulbun. Rest guy's going to fly through from our Shulbun. Bang, Nihilego, out my game. Get him out of here, finally. And what is his Shulbun going to go for? Maybe a knockoff, something along those lines? Flare Blitz going to fly through. Can we pick up KO? I don't think we are, because we're not stabbed, but we still should be able to do a good amount of damage. Yep, bring him down to there, and we get the burn, baby. We get a big burn on him. That is huge, considering he's a physical attacker. Gotta love it. Knockoff's gonna take off our Lumberry. I'm pretty cool with that. I'm pretty cool with that. My Lumberry is gone. We're gonna get some HP back, and I could just glide into that slot, unless burn comes out first. Nope. Rain is gonna come out here first, and I think I'm just gonna glide onto that low boom and hit hard onto the next slot with my Soul Galio. So hopefully he pops out with a Pokemon that, that can't really take a Steel move too well or a Psychic move so we can get some stab super effective shots off. But we'll see how this one plays out. We shall see how this one plays out. I'm just going to go into Yvelta. I think we have one more turn left in Tailwind, right? Is that, how, is that how we're getting after it? I believe that's your thing, right? Let's see. Tailwind, one more turn. Um, Definitely go for this Glide over on him because that will take you out. And then let's go for a Sunsteel Strike. Let's go for that Sunsteel Strike. Bigger damage. Hmm. Let's go after it. Let's get after it. It's stab. We might as well rock it. A really good battle so far. It's gonna come down to the wire. We still have a shot in this one as long as my Solgaleo can actually survive here. Glide comes out here. He does not end up protecting nobody. That's a big turn for us. But we need Solgaleo to actually survive this turn. Unseal Strike comes out here. Can we get like a crit or something? Or can we just take him out one shot? No problem. Let's see how this one plays out. Let's rock it. 
So Unsealed Strike coming in hot and brings him down to yellow. And his Citrus Berry is going to pop here. A nice, lovely little Citrus Berry. And he's going to go for a Dark Move and he is going to take out my Soul Galio. Soul Galio, no! Leave him alone! Dang it, man. First battle, not looking good for your boy. Not looking good for your boy. But I feel like we should have actually led the uh, the My Shao with the what's it called? I feel like the My Shao with the uh, with the Soul Galio would have rocked out a lot better. Considering that's what it's there for. It's there for the coaching. Maybe we should have went into that. But I need a fake out user because I really did think he was gonna lead Regilecki. I really did think he was gonna lead the Regilecki and get rocking out from there. But Volcarona is gonna come out as the final Pokemon, and that's gonna be GG's for us. That is totally going to be GG's for us. I guess I'll go for a high horsepower over on here, but it's not looking good. I should just cancel the battle there, but not a bad first battle, but could be better. We're going to get ready, get rocking into our battle number two and look for a win there. Well, let's just see how this one plays out. I'm guessing a Heat Wave or maybe a Bug Buzz into uh, Oblivion Wing, right? Yep, there's Oblivion Wing. Bang, that's actually, we're probably going to be able to soak that up. We are Soul Pest, so yeah, that's an easy eat for your boy. That's a tasty snack, but he gets HP back. He gets HP back, and that is why Yvelta is so good. He can hit hard, he can survive a long way, and this is going to fiery dance. Look at this thing, dancing up fiery, yo. I love that move. That move is so cool, and I haven't seen it in a while, so I'm glad I actually got to experience that at the end of the battle. But like I said, we lost the first one. Let's get into our second one and pick up our first win for today's video. We got a battle for the ages in battle number two right here. Solgaleo versus Solgaleo. Hopefully we can come up on top and get ourselves a first win for today's video. He also has Thunderous, Galarian Zapdos, Incineroar, Rillaboom, and Tapu Fini. So pretty similar teams here. He has Solgaleo. We have Solgaleo. We both have Incineroar and Rillaboom and Tapu Fini. Then we have Tornadus, he has Thunderous, and then, oh, then it's uh, Galarian Zapdos and My Shell. So very similar team here. How should I rock out with this one? He does have Defiant, so I really, really have to watch out with going in with Incineroar. Even though Incineroar could be wonderful. Could be wonderful. He actually has two Defiant Pokemon. So you know what? I'm going to just keep Incineroar out of here. I'm not dealing with it. I'm really not going to deal with it. We're going to go My Shell and uh, Solgaleo here. And then next Pokemon is going to be... And we're going to go Tornadus here. Right? Tornadus could be pretty good here. And I think we're going to bring in Tapu Fini. Hmm. We're going to go Rillaboom. Rillaboom is looking pretty spiffy here. Looking real spiffy. I'm going to go Rillaboom here as a final Pokemon. And we're going to get rocking out from there. Let's try to get this coaching up here in battle number two. And try to get Solgaleo rolling. But this guy is too defiant Pokemon. So there's no way I can bring in my boy. No way I can bring in my, uh... My, what's it called? My Incineroar. We just come out there, intimidate them. They would get defiant boost. And they would just run me. Run me easily. Right? Is he going to lead someone with defiant, right? He does. He, he, he leads to Tornadus alongside with Shiny Solgaleo. Shiny Solgaleo is looking phenomenal. All red? Like, look at that thing. Looks like you dipped them. Like, you ever get, like, one of those cherry-dipped ice cream cones? Not the chocolate ones. The cherry ones? It looks like you just took Solgaleo and dumped them in there. It's <laughs> exactly what it looks like. But I can fake out turn one. And who should I fake out? Who shall Jeans fake out? Exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to fake out onto... Bump, bump, bump. I think. Who poses a bigger threat here? I'm just gonna fake out on the Sogelia here. Got Flare Blitz, but at the same time, I could go for a uh, Lake of Fangs to start getting off damage on that Pokemon. Why oh, can't just double through on Sogelia? I don't think he's Rocket Protect. Hmm. They are Sash, so. I'm gonna Flare Blitz on them. Let's rock it. Hopefully, he doesn't protect. That's one plays out here. Fake out this, come out here. And we get off a lovely little Flare Blitz onto this Pokemon. Onto this Pokemon, Flare Blitz. Flying through. Bang. Take him out. Get him out my face. We're the better Solgaleo here. We get a crit, too. We get a crit. Let him know. Let him know. So we get rid of him easily, and that recoil damage is not nice at all. He's going to end up going for T-Bolt. Maybe on the My Shao, right? Yep. Onto My Shao. And we bring him down to 16. So we do outspeed, I believe. So I think I can go into an easy coach here and pick up a KO on whatever Pokemon I want. So let's see who he throws out here. It's going to be the Galarian Zapdos. The lovely little Galarian Zapdos. And I think I'm just going to go here and then just drop a uh, second thanks. Right, coach up. Get after it that way. Let's rock it. Battle was canceled. Yo, one turn game? We take those all day. Did we just win a battle in one turn? I think we just did. We got a nice big old Flare Blitz on his Solgaleo. Ended up getting that crit. A little bit of RNG luck there. And the dude was just not having it. He canceled the battle after that. He's like, nah, I'm done for today. Someone else can play this game, but we're hopping into our third and final battle and looking for that winning record for you guys. Going up against a Zassian team here, though. 
That seems really good Pokemon. Really, really strong. He also has Rillaboom, Alolan Ninetales, Incineroar, Araquanid, and Landorus in the other form. Okay, so hmm, he has no Defiant, and Incineroar definitely has to come in here. I really want to go My Shout, though. My Shout would be great. Be totally great here. We go uh, Incineroar or Solgaleo. Or I can just go here and go Solgaleo. Potentially try to get off a coaching thing. And then have Incineroar in the back end. And then final Pokemon could be Rillaboom. Could be Rillaboom indeed. Or I could bring in my Tapu Fini. They both work really, really well here. Or Tornado. It's not all phenomenal. Who do I really want here? Do I want that speed? I don't think we really need that uh, speed. I think we should be fine regardless. I think we just get our Solgaleo rolling and rocking out from there. But you know what? I am going to bring Tornadus just in the back end in case we do need that Tailwind. We can set it up late game and have the speed for the rest of the game. But let's see who he goes into. Hopefully he goes into... I don't even know. I don't even know who I, who I want to go into. Anybody but Incineroar I think could be great for us. Anybody but Incineroar could be great for us. But he's probably going to go into Incineroar. I can definitely see it happening. Trying to get off and Intimidate, but we are in, a fo in our focus. And we have full metal. Oh, he goes Araquanid and Rolling. So he does have Fake Out Rocket onto his Rolling. So I could go for a coach. I think I am going to go for a coach. And if he doesn't fake me out, well, I can fake him out. I should have speed, right? We could go fake out for fake out. Which could work really, really well here. And then coach next turn. But yeah, I'm going to fake out that Rolling. I'm going to say, hey, yo, I'm not having none of you. Not having none of you. And then I could just drop a mean old Flare Blitz. But hmm, what do I want to do from there? Go for a Sunshield Strike or Psychic Fang. I'm looking for a Psychic Fang over on the Rack when they try to get off some damage on that Pokemon. Let's see how we can roll from there. Here goes Fake Out. We get a nice, lovely little flinch there. Lovely little flinch. Psychic Fang's gonna fly through here. And we get off a nice, lovely chomp onto that Pokemon. Liquidation's gonna come through here onto him. And so we should be able to eat that up, right? A nice, big old eat for us. Nice, big, lovely eat for us. And I think I'm just gonna coach. I think I'm just gonna coach and take out a Rack when no problem. Right? Coach and then say Iraq when they get out of the game. It's probably a play for us. Go there and then just drop uh, another second thing. And do the work. Can do the work. Unless this boy is going to protect, but I don't see those spider boy protecting. Coaching comes out. We blow a whistle. We say, hey, defense come up. Attack. Let's get that buff going as well. We get that buff. We should be able to outspeed unless Grassy Glide comes through here. It does not glide. Psychic Fangs, there's a rack when it out my face. Now we do have a defense boost as well, so maybe we can get off another turn here. But let's see what he goes for. He goes for a knockoff and he is going to take off my Lumberry. And bring me down to 38. And bring me down to 38, which could be tough. Because I think a grassy guy can potentially take me out. So let's see how this one's gonna play out. Let's see who he brings out here. It's gonna be Zacian. If it is Zacian, I might just do a hard swap from Solgaleo to Incineroar. But let's see. It is gonna be Zacian. I'm thinking of hard swap. Maybe my Maisha. I'm just gonna get a, another fake out later. Hmm. What does Jeans wanna do here? Jeans wanna do here. I'm just gonna go for a hard swap. Double intimidate. Gotta swap out the my shell. Get the fake out again later in the battle. And then I could go for a nice little Sunseal strike. That scene always poses that threat. So we're gonna rock out there and see how we can play with that one. We're at plus one on defense. And I, I think Zassian might outspeed Solgaleo, but this minus one is going to be huge for one, the Zassian, bring him back down to normal, and two, onto that roll boom, bring him minus one. They're both physical attackers, so that's a nice big old Intimidate. Glide's going to fly through here, and can we eat that? Oh, you're going after you. That's silly, fine by me. And Tinker Sword's going to fly through here, and it's going to take out Solgaleo, no problem. Okay, so that's cool. I'm cool with that all day. Uh, I'm thinking of Parting Shotting. That might be my play here. I could Parting Shot. I could bring back out my shot, but I do have that Tornadus. Still out and about. Still lovely. Still looking pretty here. Love the my shell. Hmm. Which jeans want to go into? I could go fake out into parting shot. Could be big clay here. Hmm. Who would I fake out here? Zacian? Or Rillaboom? Let's pick out the Rillaboom. Cause I can totally see the Zassian protecting, right? We're gonna fake you out, and then we're just gonna go for... Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wrong side. Oh, I can double fake out here. I can double fake out and just do do whatever I want next turn. You know, we're, we're still just gonna party shot here. I'm gonna party shot over on Zassian, and I'm just gonna fake out onto Rillaboom. Onto Rillaboom. It's gonna end up with Draw and Zassian, so that's a huge party shot for us. He's gonna send out Landorus. That's silly cool. And I'm gonna be able to get off a party shot onto him. And have my Intimidate in the back end. So I'm really liking this turn. 
I'm really liking this turn. Really liking this turn. I honestly didn't think I would like Series 10 as much as I am enjoying it right now, but I'm really enjoying it. Without the Dynamax, I do love Dynamax, but this is just bringing, like, better battles, in my opinion. More strategic battles, in my opinion. A lot more swapping going on. A lot more thought has to go into here, because usually I would just Dynamax Logalia with the weakness policy and go from there. Like, that would just be, like, instant KOs and stuff. But this one, I really have to think about my turns and what they're really going to do and if I should swap more and how I should really play it. But I could go for a Tailwind here. Tailwind could be lovely. But I'm going to end up setting up a Tailwind. I might just close combat here. Close combat on the Roboom. Just start doing damage on him. Chip it away. And here goes my Tailwind. And I could just always go for a Hurricane next time. So there's my Tailwind. Get some speed for a lot of the game. Fly's going to fly through here. Over on my shell. My shell says, yo, that's Tasty Snack there. And close combat is going to fly through. So that's lovely. Getting some nice damage off on that Pokemon. And my shell's probably going to go down next turn. Or maybe even this turn. We'll see who he goes after. Yep, this turn. So Lander should be able to eat that, right? And my shell eats. Woo! So we're going to have to waste a glide. He's going to have to waste a glide on him. The real question is, dude, this one's really good battle. This is a really good battle here. They have a really good one, but I don't think it's looking good in her favor, though. But I do have speed. I'll drop a Heat Wave. That is exactly what I'm going to do. Say Heat Wave takes out you, and then going to have to go into close combat here, right? Good wide guard. Now, because he's just going to glide onto me. So we might as well go into this combat. Just one plays out. Heat Wave comes through, and he does not glide, yo. He does not glide, and we get rid of that Robloom. That's huge for us. I should have went for the wide guard. Should have went for the wide guard there. That could have been a huge turn for us, but maybe close combat can do him a little bit dirty. Maybe we can get a crit on this one. We do not. We do not. We do some decent amount of damage there. But we're both going to end up dropping here to a rock slide, and it's going to come down to a 2v1, unless he misses one of us. Nope, of course he connects both of us. Both times he connects it, dude. I should have wide guarded. I was thinking about it, too. I was totally thinking about it. Okay, so it comes down... To these two guys it comes down to incineroar versus zassian and this landers we have intimidate right off the bat right off the bat i can fake out this uh this what's it called this landers and maybe ko let's see if i gotta see its hp again and zassian's gonna come out dude are you kidding me yo imagine if i would have wide guard right there that would have been incredible that would have been incredible so interpret comes out here gets some attack boost i'm gonna say nah yo let's uh let's get an attack decrease here but dang dude, we do have speed for i think two more turns right so in that case i might just want to take out you i think i need to take out you because i don't want that ground move flying in here right dashing protect yo let's go let's go that brought this battle a little bit closer here oh lando protects too oh okay never mind the pick out doing nothing it's just wasting out turns here so i have to go after that, that lando like I have, I have to. It's a must. It's a must. It's a must that we go after this land though. Again, I'm not dealing with a ground move. I'm not dealing with a ground shot. Even though he is minus one, I cannot deal with the ground shot. You have Citrus Berry rocking, and that thing still outspeeds me. That's pretty nuts. Citrus Berry is gonna pop here. Wow, even in a tailwind, Zashian's outspeed of mine Cinnamon. And the Cinnamon was like mediocre speed. Unless he's choice, and you outspeed me too? Bruh, get out my game. Get out my game. Third and final battle, Ghost and them. We went one and two. We had a really good second battle with just a one-turn victory, but both of our losses, I thought we played decently well in. Honestly, I really enjoyed this team. I wish I could have got some better battles for you guys, but we went one and two with this squad today. Got to show off uh, Solgaleo to his fullest potential, and I just don't think he's as good as he used to be when Dynamax format was allowed, considering he thrived with that weakness policy. Now that he doesn't have it, he needs some type of boost coming from that My Shao on this team with that coaching to really get rolling with this Pokemon. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.